It's recording. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Tony with Royal Essence Total Body Care. I am in the process of wrapping some soap. As usual, I have a show this weekend where I will be vending. Let me get some light in here. So um, I'm wrapping some soap, so I wanted to just kind of make a new soap wrapping video for those of you who have been wondering how I wrap my soap. So I've already wrapped a few bars, so I'll be wrapping um, and sealing today. And then I may put on a few labels for you. So, hang tight and we'll get started. And let me try to hurry up before my, hello, before my camera. I don't know how much battery I have. So, um, I'm trying to use this cover or some type of cover to try to protect my table. Although... I've messed it up so badly. I really need to find a tablecloth to put on here permanently. But nevertheless, let's get started. Okay, so I have these shrink wrap bands. Um, this is one size that I have. I got this particular size from Brambleberry. Uh, I think it's like three and a half by four or something of that sort. I usually use these for my smaller bars, um, like this size from my tall and skinny mold from uh, Brambleberry. Uh, this beautiful scented soap is a lemon verbena, Yankee candle type. It smells absolutely amazing. And this one here is our grapefruit bellini and i went in with a little bit of a different color for grapefruit uh, bellini because it could dub as a unisex soap so i didn't want to put a lot of feminine colors your oranges or pinks or yellows and all of that just so that i you know the men can feel a little bit more comfortable um, this is another shrink wrap uh, bag that I use for my larger soaps or larger items. Um, this is six by six. Um, every side of it is sealed except for one side, which opens up just like so. And you just stick the contents of whatever you want in there. Uh, so those are my two uh, main bags that I use. Um, I do use these uh, type of treat bags. Let me turn that on, vibrate. Um, for my bath bombs, let me show you. So um, I'm in the process of wrapping these bath bombs, but this treat bag I use for the bath bombs and maybe some other things. It really just depends on what I need it for. Can somebody get that thing for me? Hang on for me. And uh, with the 6x6 six six shrink wrap bag, um, I don't just use it for soap. I use it for um, several of my products. And I have some detox bath that I use it for. I seal it. I don't um, shrink it because I just think it looks nicer that way. I tried to shrink one of these. And let me show you how it turned out. You know, still cute. But um, I think I, I just prefer it this way over this. And so, but anyway, so those are the sizes that I have with me today for the soap I will be wrapping. Um, so um, to seal, if I'm using the 6x6, six six, this is my impulse sealer that I have sitting to the side, but I don't need that right now. So I'm just going to pull out my heat gun. I got this one from Ace. It was like 24 bucks. Now, this is my first time using it um, besides last night because in all honesty, like if you've seen any of my other videos, I have used a hair dryer. 
and it has worked perfectly fine for me. Um, but yesterday I was at Ace, I was picking up some sodium hydroxide or some lye and um, dropping off some packages of orders and I just was perusing down the aisle and I I went ahead and got it on a whim. So uh, what I have noticed is that it is a lot stronger <laughs> um, than my blow dryer but I'm, I'm getting a hang of it so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to keep this on low because I have messed up a few bags and I have put a hole in a couple of the bags because I'm just trying to fill it out without it getting too hot in one spot. So um, what I usually do is I put the soap in the uh, shrink wrap bag. I hold it down here just because when it's sealing it tends to slip down and I want majority of this covered because if you could see this part is open and this part is open so just to prevent it from sliding down I kind of put it in the middle with equal sides on the top and bottom left out and then I'll just start here and I'll just keep on moving it around be careful because it's very hot I'll put it down to seal the bottom then I'll do the top I'll turn it to the side this side, top, and back. And I just kind of keep it moving because if you leave it in one spot, it will tear a hole through it. And so it's nicely wrapped. Um, it's sealed. Just a, a little bit of the top is opened and a little bit of the bottom. Um, I usually put my label on the front and then maybe the ingredients label on the sides just depending on what's you know available but when the customers smell it they could still smell it through the top or they turn it over and they could smell it so it's it's really good that way i really like those small ones so let's do another let's do this one and if i don't know if you could see but it has like a perforated um edge at the top just want to kind of open it up but not too much to break it through just like this you take the soap and stick it in sometimes it gets caught up and if it does you just dust away the little bits of soap that got on it make sure it's in the middle hold the one side just like so, turn it over. I did the top first. And I press it down. Bam, sides, the back, other side, and we're ready to go. Just like that. It's wrapped. So, I think that's enough for the wrapping. I think you got an idea. I've already did, um, several <laughs> here so I'm not gonna waste any time like I said I don't know how much battery I have Ooh. and please be careful this thing gets so hot you don't want to burn yourself let me give you an example of one of these six by six shrink wrap bags with this is one of my Shea Butter and Activated Charcoal Facial Soaps here. And um, I, I just want to mention, I have super clean hands. They've been washed and sanitized. You don't want to touch barehanded on any of your products if your hands have not been washed. I do have gloves, um, but I just didn't get those because I knew I had washed and sanitized. But... And anywho, I thought I'd make that disclaimer. Um, activated charcoal, a wonderful soap. It's made with shea butter, so that's why it's kind of gray, a dark gray, because the shea butter base, um, which was melt and pour, was definitely white. Um, and it just provided a creamier texture, and it just works wonders. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to go ahead and slide this in just like so. And as you can see, there is a ton of room left here that we don't need. And I think it looks tacky by just folding it over and taping it. So what I'll do is I'll bring my impulse sealer back in like so. It's already on. I put it to about a four, no more than a five because um, I started to smell it smelled like it was getting too hot and burning and you just need a couple of seconds for each seal. So I hope you can see that. Let me move it a little bit closer. So basically, I push it all the way to the edge here. Then I'll slide it through. Place it down. And once you hear that click, it's done. I usually keep it on just a few seconds longer after the click. And as you can see, it's sealed. It's not going anywhere. Okay? And so what I do, in addition to that, if I want it smaller, because I still have all of this room, I'll even go back in and seal up the access that's left over. Just like so. So we have a nice sealed facial soap. And what I'll do is I'll just cut along right in front of the seal marks to get rid of the extra. Let's move this out of the way. My table cloth thingy is everywhere. And so this is it here. Okay. So let's go ahead and seal this sucker so we can see what we have. <laughs> Turn it back on low. And I got this one from Ace Hardware. I don't know if I had mentioned that before. Okay, it's hot, so let's go in. Yeah, just like that. Oh, so you have to be very careful because it will burn a hole. It will make a hole. So, that was very quick. And as you can see, I didn't have it on there but for a few seconds and it has a little hole in it. Now because my sticker is two, my label is more than two, I think it's about two and a half inches, I think it should be able to cover this part so this little hole shouldn't matter but you could definitely do it over again and I love these cute little facial soaps. Activated charcoal which has a ton of health benefits. Um, Activated charcoal, as you know, it pulls the toxins, toxins excuse me, out of your body, your face, and it prevents them from reabsorbing in your skin. So I'm just going to do one more and uh, try to see if we could get it without that stinky hole. to the back like that. Let's get this baby going again. Just like this. In here. cake or something <laughs> but I absolutely love um, the mold this is uh, one of my first molds that I ever bought um, I think I purchased it from either if not Hobby Lobby it was Michaels or something but um, I, I still love that mold it hasn't missed a beat so 
I will use it. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's see if we can not. No holes, please. No holes. There we are. There we are. There we are. Okay. That's better. No holes whatsoever. Okay. So here's our activated charcoal and shea butter soap. I absolutely love them. And it's fragranced with bramble berries, um, dogwood, and sage, I believe, which is a earthy scent. Not too sweet, not too floral, but more of a herbal, um, woodsy type of fragrance. So... I think that's it. Oh, let me just show you really quickly. I made some um, cupcakes. And then I'll show you how I put my labels on as well. Let me show you the labels since that goes with the video since I'm hopping around here. But, um, so what I'll do is um, I use Avery. I haven't found a cheaper... I haven't taken the time to find a cheaper um, label company, which I know that it's out there. I just I'm just doing what works for me, and so I use Avery labels, and um, it just depends on what I have. Um, I use these two inch um, glossy white circles. Um, for a number of my products and um, when I'm doing just like ingredient list that doesn't fit on the circles then I will use these um, it's the 18294 which is like an address label and so basically what I do is I just take it off here and this is my label for these which has the ingredients on there for this herbal bath detox. But if I wanted to just go ahead and add another ingredient label, I would just stick it right there on the back. Just like so. But usually I use these small ingredient labels for my jars. I'll just stick it on the back and pop that baby open. Oh, it smells absolutely wonderful. I make my herbal detox bath with tons of essential oils. And it's just amazing. But anyway, so um, just briefly, um, these are some of my labels that I use. Avery is my friend. I just save my templates uh, on my computer. Or you could save them to your Avery account. And they're ready for you whenever you need to reprint or what have you. Um, I use this craft paper for my, um, the Avery craft paper label for my beard oil. And so I really love those. I just wanted to show you a, just a preview of what I have regarding those when I'm wrapping my soaps. And one final thing for when I'm wrapping my soaps, and I think I may have shown this to you, or maybe the video that cut off but um, this is uh, a paper pad that I got from Michaels. Um, it comes with 48 pieces of stock paper. Um, they come in these uh, assortment of different designs, which I love. Sometimes I'll use this to wrap my soaps, just depending on the color of the soap. Oh, I love this one here. So basically, it's a 12 by 12. And what I do is I take my paper cutter and I'll take a 1 inch by 12 slivers. And then I'll just use that to wrap my soap in. You know, just kind of wrap it around depending on the size of the soap or the shape of the soap. Like, I wouldn't use it on this because it's kind of an awkward shape. It's not totally a rectangle. Um, so I use the sticker labels for this, but um, this was like 
20 bucks at, isn't this one cute? Oh, I love this. But um, this was like 20 bucks at Michael's, but with their 40 or 50% off coupon on any item, regular priced item, it was like, you know, 11 bucks or something like that. And with 48 pieces of stock paper, and when you're cutting them up, um, 12 inches by one inch, this will go a very long way. I think it's like less than one cent with my cost if I use it that way. And so I love this. They come in all different colors. So this is another thing that I use to wrap my soaps with as well. Let's see. Well, let's see. Kind of shoving everything out there because I know it's so much I wanted to talk to you about, but I may make another video. Uh, but last but not least, this is what I wanted to show you. I think it's time to take off these silicone molds uh, for the cupcakes. But I did make some awesome cupcakes they smell amazing um custom order for a young lady and her girls which um she's having a spa birthday party and they requested some cupcakes and i went ahead and obliged and made them for you i love them they're so fun and cute for the children um i got this little stick the straw out <laughs> idea I'm not sure from where, somewhere on um, Pinterest, I believe, or Google Images, but this is my rendition. Um, I started using one piping tip, which I think was a closed star, and I didn't like the way it came out, so then I kind of switched to an open star, and that was better for me. I really like the big fluffy ruffles versus the tight ruffles but anyway I have these curing on my rack and um, that's about it for today I just wanted to get to you to show you I was wrapping some soap I will make some lotion later so I may come back so check that out in another video thank you for watching again this is Tony with Royal Essence please subscribe to my channel if you want to hear and see more of these videos uh, just me doing my thing um, loving what I do with my business and um, if you have any questions or concerns or comments please leave them below thank you so much for watching check me out on here Facebook at Royal Essence Body Care Instagram at Royal Essence Body Care and on my Etsy shop Royal Essence Body uh, if you want to purchase or favorite some things or take a look around. I am available when you need me. Anyway, toodaloo. Have a good one. Bye.